Hey people, welcome to The Run Test, it's Kieran here, and in this video we're going to be telling you whether you should buy the OnCloud Surface 7 or the OnCloud Monster. Now to help you decide, four run testers have been doing many, many miles in both these shoes. We have tested these to the nth degree, and in this video we'll be giving you our verdict on everything from fit to the run test to which one we think is a better shoe all round. So watch on to find out. So some quick details then, the Monster is a heavier shoe then coming in at 10.2 ounces or 290 grams in a UK men's size 8.5, while the Cloud Surfer comes in a shade lighter at 237 grams or 8.4 ounces in the same size. Now On doesn't list the stack height for either of these shoes, but the Cloud Surfer has a higher drop, it's got a 10 mil drop compared to the Cloud Monster's 6 mils. Price wise, they're both the same price in the UK at 150 pounds, but the Monster is 10 bucks cheaper in the US $170 compared to the Cloud Surfers $180. So let's give you a quick whip round of what's different about these shoes to compare them and contrast them. I think starting with the uppers, basically you've got like a dual layered mesh upper on the OnCloud Surfer. It's a little bit more breathable. There's a bit more kind of airiness to it. It's a bit more structured and a bit more kind of tight knit on the Cloud Monster. Tongues, you've got a big padded tongue on the Cloud Surfer. It's a little bit more plush, a bit more cushioned, takes away a little bit more of that lace pinch. The Cloud Monsters is very much sort of more of one of those kind of thin tongues that kind of wraps over the top of the uh, the midfoot. So yeah, it's a little bit more minimal there. In terms of heel collar cushioning as well, there's just a little bit more padding in the Cloud Surf than you're going to find in the Cloud Monster. Though it's not hugely different there. It's just a little bit more plush on the Cloud Surf. I think you kind of notice that a little bit when you're running. But really the major difference here is in the Cloud Tech technology that goes into the midsole. Now both of these feature Helion foam. That's On's kind of uh, foam. And they've got cloud tech, they've got these kind of cushions that are along the bottom. The key difference here is that the Cloud Monster have got these kind of enclosed kind of cloud tech elements that they do compress, but they've changed it up with the Cloud Surfer where they've basically made it so they're now in a kind of domino structure. So what happens here is as your foot kind of drops down and it rolls through the step, these cloud tech elements now compress a little bit like in a domino kind of style. And they're a little bit soft and they collapse a little bit more than they do on the Cloud Monster. So overall, you've got to get a bit of a softer ride when it comes to the Cloud Surfer. The other thing that enhances that is the fact there's, there's a speed board still in the Cloud Monster, but they have dropped the speed board. It's been most of On's shoes have a speed board. That's gone with the Cloud Surfer 7. And that's one of the things that tends to give on shoes a little bit more stiffness overall. So again, that changes the ride of the Cloud Surfer. If you flip them over, you can see that they both use rubber quite sparingly here in the key impact zones on the Cloud Monster. There's a bit more of a sort of larger area of kind of covering in the forefoot here of the Cloud Surfer, two kind of sections in the back of the Cloud Surfer as well. The other thing that you'll notice that's different, this is a great thing that I'm really impressed on have changed finally, is that there's no kind of really deep channel in the middle of the Cloud Surfer that you can see here in the Cloud Monster. I actually just picked this shoe up just a second ago and it had a stone in it that's obviously collected before. Those channels in on shoes can collect stones. That has gone with the on Cloud Surfer and that gets rid of one of the things that's sort of slightly frustrating about on shoes. So the fit for me in both of these shoes is completely true to size. They're both very comfortable shoes. I definitely wouldn't size up or size down in these. And uh, yeah, completely happy with them. Stick true to size in both. So it comes to the fit of the two shoes. I found that the OnCloud Monster fit me perfectly well true to size with really no concerns at all. The Cloud Surfer is a little bit tighter around the toe box. There's potential there to maybe go half a size up. Actually, I've been comfortable enough in my normal size just with that slightly tighter fit around the toe box. Both of them are very comfortable around the heel and midfoot and hold the foot securely. So yeah, really good uppers and a good fit. The Cloud Surfer is that little bit tighter and there's potential to go half a size up, but in the end, I've been happy true to size. In terms of fit, one noticeable thing, I think the on-cloud surfer come up a little bit narrower across this kind of mid to forefoot area, across the top of the foot. There's a noticeable bit of kind of tightness there. I've sort of mentioned it in the full review that we did of the on-cloud surfer. I've got quite a high instep, quite wide feet. And for me, I noticed that it was a little bit tighter, particularly as you sort of just go across the top of the, the foot where the kind of, I guess, the big toe knuckle is just before that. And uh, there's none of that in the on-cloud monster. The on-cloud monster's a really good fit. I think toe box wise, similar amount of room not too much difference i think it, the inners of the um the on cloud surfer are probably slightly softer and wrap slightly softer around the foot than the on cloud monster but overall in terms of fit in both these shoes I, I get good lockdown good heel hold i'd go true to size in them even though there is a little bit of tightness in the on cloud surfer i think the on cloud monster a little bit roomier
both the Cloud Monster and the latest version of the Cloud Surfer, I think, have been really positive steps from on in uh, reshaping their approach to running shoes. They're both a lot softer than what we've seen before from the brand, and that's not necessarily descending into like squishiness or anything like that. It's just they're not uncomfortably firm. Cloud Monster, we obviously tested first, and I enjoyed it quite a lot as an good max cushion shoe that was nice for easy runs uh, fairly firm and stable ride still compared to some of the other options out there but you know a comfortable ride for sure and a little bit of versatility in it because it's fairly light for a max cushion shoe you've got the speed board running through it you've got that responsive cushioning so you can pick up the pace end up being a really solid daily trainer all round. just not one that really stood out for me uh, overall in, on the market at large whereas the cloud surfer is something that stands out a lot to me on the market large one that i've kept around after our review it's, it's probably gonna be in my rotation for a while because i do think it is almost a unique ride for easy runs the way that the cushioning kind of collapses in on itself there creates a very soft and smooth ride it's a shoe i really look forward to using as a result it's really comfortable and it is still a lightweight shoe so you can pick up the pace a little bit in it it's not the best for that i'd say actually despite being a fair bit heavier the cloud master probably has a little bit more versatility in terms of the uh, poppiness of the ride but when it comes to their main purpose which is those easy and long runs cloud surfers ride is just a lot more enjoyable for me just because it is so smooth and comfortable the redesigned midsole just really works from on it's not quite as stable as the Cloud Monster for sure. Uh, I haven't any real problems of instability myself, but that would be something to look out for with this shoe. And I guess the other point probably in the long term will be durability between them. With this midsole design, this is a shoe I want to put a lot of miles on and really see how it holds up. But so far, it's fine. The ride stayed the same, but it is something that I think could be more of a concern now with the Cloud Monster that I think is perfectly fine on the durability front. Ah, the run test between them. This was a lot trickier than I thought it would be. Um, I haven't run in the Monsters for a couple of weeks because I've been testing other things and I'd forgotten actually how enjoyable they are. So quickly to remember, we've got a 10 millimeter drop on the Cloud Surfer and only a six millimeter drop on the Cloud Monster. You've also got the Surfer weighs only 213 grams and the Monster weighs about 40, 45 grams more in my women's size seven, which is quite a lot really when you think about it. So that lightness of weight and the heel toe drop in the surfer, I'd say is what makes On want to suggest it as a, a race shoe and a tempo shoe, more than just a max cushion shoe. The Monster though, I would actually say is a snappier shoe. That speedboard does propel you forward, it pings you off, whereas the surfer, it's the lightness and the nimbleness that is getting you the pace there rather than any kind of snap back from the shoe. 40 grams is a big difference though. So if you're racing, what would you choose? That's really tricky, the weight or the snappiness. Now, both of these shoes really do protect your feet just because they have that huge chunk of Helion foam underneath them. But again, obviously one is a lot softer than the other. Now the depression on that will change a lot depending on your weight. So the Monster, you might feel quite firm if you're on the lighter end of the spectrum, or if you're a bit heavier, then actually you might get more of a depression and a kind of cushioned feel out of the Cloud Monster, but it's certainly a lot firmer than the Cloud Surfer. The other thing is, is that the Cloud Surfer doesn't offer, offer any stability now, I noticed that my kind of piriformis area was feeling a lot tighter. I've got, you know, slight imbalance off to my right hand side. And so it was feeling a lot tighter on that right hand side, having run in the Cloud Surfer a lot than it did when I used the Cloud Monster, which being firmer kind of ends up with a bit more support. So if it was someone who has any kind of issues with pronation or any kind of muscle imbalances that might affect that kind of upper posterior chain, that kind of area, then I would say that's the only problem is it's, it's so cushioned and squishy that you're gonna be working those muscles a lot harder on the Cloud Surfer than on the Cloud Monster. Both react as when you pick up as you'd expect, you know, um, you kind of think you're just pottering along nicely in the Surfer, but actually when you pick it up, it's so light that it really can do. And as I said, the Monster is a lot snappier. Would you race at either of them? Well, that's a good question. My head, when I was running in them, said I'd race in the Monster because of that snappiness and that kind of, feeling that the shoe is helping propel you forward even when you're fatiguing. However, the heel toe drop and that lightness would make me think that actually the Cloud Surfer would be a smarter move because as you fatigue towards the end of a race, well, you've got that lightness and you've got that aggressive heel toe drop, even though both of them, when you look at them side by side, look like they've got a quite an aggressive uplift on the toe. You can really see that kind of rocker that they're aiming for. So this has been a really tricky one. I've enjoyed running in both of these shoes over the last couple of days and I've run in both of them side by side as well, one on each foot on the treadmill. Um, 
and they are very different you know the the monster is actually you know it just feels very consistent under your foot it's pretty firm all the way through it's not got much heel toe drops you don't really feel much difference whereas the surfer you know you do feel that kind of roll through of your foot because it depresses and then pushes you forward onto your toes and you've got that squishiness so it is a very different feeling um and they're both quite enjoyable shoes and i thought that the surfer because i've just enjoyed putting it on so much would win hands down but it's going to be a tough one to call probably the most interesting aspect about these two shoes is that the on cloud monster is almost like the last shoe innovation from uh, the uh, older on shoes using helium midsole foam now i've said it many times that i'm not a massive fan of on's midsole foams i find it to be quite firm in a lot of shoes and it's not very versatile tends to be a little bit too rigid for me um and i just some shoes have been fine for me but i just never really click with them they've never really won me over as a, as a great shoe um but the on cloud monster I, I, I quite liked when it first came out because basically what on did with that is just take the same technology that they've got the same midsole foam and just add loads more of it into a shoe and by doing that it, it went from being quite a firm shoe to being a little bit more cushioned, a little bit more versatile um, and a little bit more enjoyable to run in. It's still the same sort of technology that's in those ones. Just by adding a lot more of it, it's made the shoe a little bit um, more accessible to people, a little bit more enjoyable for those longer runs. Um, but it's still the same sort of technology. It's not really changed the shoe. It's just added more stuff into it. But the Cloud the cloud Monster is a good shoe and it, it ticks a lot of boxes. It's nice, comfortable. It's, it's relatively responsive for a max cushion shoe. It's very. It's not very similar to some of the other competitors out there that are doing the same sort of thing. So if you look at things like the um, A6 Gel Nibus 25, things like the New Balance More V4, they are a lot softer than the On Cloud Monster for me. Um, and... I love cushioning, I love comfort, um, and the on cloud Monster still is just a little bit too firm for me, it's just a little bit too rigid, um, and although I do like it, it's never going to be in my top four cushion shoes, um, but it's fine. Now when the on cloud Surface 7 came out, I was really impressed when I first put it on, it felt very plush, lovely level of step and comfort straight away, not that some other on shoes don't do that, but I just really noticed it in this, in this shoe. Uh, but the biggest thing about the shoe is this Cloud Tech Phase midsole foam, and that's a completely new type of midsole foam for on, and it is really soft. And the way that those holes in the midsole foam um, expand and uh, squish as you're running in it is really noticeable. You really squish into the ground when you're doing it. It feels very soft, um, but it also doesn't feel like it's slowing you down. It's, it's, it keeps you moving nicely. This it seems to be a nice level of. Um, bounce back from it and it's just such an enjoyable shoe to run in it's it's really nice to do I uh, one of the first runs I did in it was a 16 miler and my legs felt great by the end of it I felt like I could keep on running um, and I was really surprised because I don't normally get that from on shoes because they tend to be a bit firmer and I don't get that enjoyable bouncy cushing feeling at the end so uh, I've done probably about 60k in this shoe so far and I really like it I think it's just a very very comfortable daily shoe I think it skews more towards the cushion side of things, so into the realms of the Cloud Monster. Um, but it's actually in many ways softer and feels more cushioned than the Cloud Monster, even though it's more designed for daily training. Um, but it is quite versatile as well, so I think you can use it for as a as a cushioned slow run shoe, uh, but also as a daily trainer as well, because I think you can go a little bit faster in this shoe. It's not the same as something like the Mac 5, where it's a little bit faster, where it's designed to be a little bit more lightweight. Um, but it's good. It'll it'll tick the box for you. If you're just looking for one trainer what you want to go running in um, and do all your runs in and just pick up the pace if you want to, do a nice easy run if you want to, I think it's a really nice option. And On's really done a good job in how they've developed this. Uh, it doesn't have a speed board in it, which is another interesting point to the shoe. So most of On shoes have this plastic speed board that runs all the way through it, which tends to make them feel a bit firmer along with that helium foam. This doesn't have one, so um, it's... A lot more flexible, a lot more natural feeling, um, and I think it really helps the shoe, actually. It's, it really makes it feel like a, a very enjoyable, natural feeling shoe. One thing I'll say about these two shoes, and we get this in a lot of comments about the Cloud Surface 7, is there's a worry that it's got, not going to have the durability um, of the helium foam, because helium foam's a little bit stiffer, a little bit firmer. Uh, rides pretty well uh, when it comes to longer distance, high mileage training. It doesn't wear down as quickly as some foams. This new foam, it does feel very light uh, and almost delicate. Um, so 
I'm not. I'm nowhere close to being able to see any signs of wear or tear on it. But people have raised an issue that might be durability concerns with this shoe. Can't say if that's actually the case. Uh, but there's not a lot of rubber on this shoe, so you get rubber at the front and the on a little bit on the heel section. So not a lot on there. So if there is a problem, then it's gonna we're gonna see that pretty soon in testing. Same goes for the um, Cloudman. So there's not a lot of rubber on it, but that helium foam that's in there is just a little bit tougher. So it's not so much a problem with that. So hopefully it's not going to be a problem with the Cloud Surface 7. But um, yeah, not a lot of rubber on either of these shoes. I've just done my one mile side by side test with the OnCloud Surfer on one foot and the OnCloud Monster on the other foot. I'm really glad I did it with these two shoes because I was really expecting there to be a huge pronounced kind of difference between these shoes. Just in my mind, I had the OnCloud Monster as a much bigger, much bulkier, different shoe on the foot. And actually, it's such an interesting thing when you do this. It's why I do it is because when you put them on, it's, it kind of sometimes blows your mind because not only does the sort of step in comfort in these shoes sort of feel quite similar, the way the, the uppers kind of hug the foot also feels quite similar. The whole feel on the foot is quite similar. And then you go and run in them and from shoes that I thought were going to be really distinct and have a really different ride, it's quite subtle the difference between the two shoes for me. The On Cloud Monster, a little bit firmer. I think it relies a little bit more on the rocker but I think with the OnCloud Surfer, you can feel a little bit more of that squish. You know, the OnCloud Monster, when it came out, was On's kind of biggest stack shoe. It's the first time you'd seen these kind of clouds of this size. A high stack, kind of easy shoe to kind of daily trainer, somewhere along that kind of trajectory. It ran softer than any other On shoes in the past, but it was still sort of a firm shoe, really, compared to a lot of other shoes that you put into that bracket. Then comes along the Cloud Surfer, and you've got this kind of new cloud structure with a collapsing kind of dominoes effect. You've still got helium foam, but I think it's a much softer helium foam. You can squish it a lot more on your fingers. But then when you put them both on, what I think you're really seeing is the OnCloud Surfer. To me, it feels like it relies a little bit more on the rocker. I think the OnCloud Monster come up a little bit flatter when you're landing on them. The OnCloud Monster is a heavier shoe, but on the foot, I don't think you really notice the difference in the heaviness. In all honesty, I think if you blindfolded me and put these shoes on, the difference in the feeling isn't quite as stark as I really expected it to be. You're going to get a slightly softer, more springy ride in the OnCloud Surfer. I think that is good for a couple of things. It's good for kind of easier running, but I also think it's got a little bit more for when you want to go faster. I always sort of found the OnCloud Monster would be quite good if you wanted to do sort of, if you wanted to pick up the pace. That firmness really worked for it. But the OnCloud Monster, you know, the softness comes in, but then that spring, I think, replaces kind of that overall kind of firm ride that you get. It's really interesting. They both run quite similarly. They both feel quite similar on the foot. It's, it's difficult to choose. I, I think overall, my feeling is that the OnCloud Surfer is probably the more versatile, more rounded shoe. And maybe even it's the shoe that the OnCloud Monster should have been on the OnCloud Monster we thought it was going to be. Uh, when you look at it, that's the kind of ride that you think you're going to get with the OnCloud Monster. On balance, oh, it's a kind of head versus heart thing, isn't it? My head says the monster makes more sense because of the snappiness and oh, yeah I don't know but the surfer is just the one that I've really kind of gone to every morning and thought yeah I want to put that on my feet that's really nice I enjoy running around in it um you know I think you could do tempo workouts and things in it durability we'll see how that goes with such a soft foam and that lack of the speedboard but I think on balance I'd probably go for the surfer if they can come up with something which is kind of a hybrid of the two I'm in Let's go for it. So Cloud Monster to Cloud Surfer, both good shoes. For me, the Cloud Surfer is the clear pick if you're looking for a cushioned shoe for relaxed, easy runs, long runs. It's just a very enjoyable shoe to use for those kind of runs with that redesigned midsole that creates that smooth, comfortable, and just very fun ride. Like I really look forward to pulling on the shoe for that kind of run. Cat is also a nice lightweight shoe, which I appreciate for easy runs. Like you know, in any run, I just, it's nice to have a nice nibble shoe on your foot like this. And that means it, you can up the pace in it for daily training. I do think it's a pretty solid all-round daily trainer. I prefer it myself for the easy runs, but you can do a bit of everything in it. That's pretty much true of the Cloud Monster as well. It's geared more towards just daily training and long and easy miles. But despite the fact it's heavier than the Cloud Surfer, the firmer feel underfoot does mean you get a bit more pop for um, faster runs. Almost think if I was looking for an all-rounder shoe, maybe I'd lean towards the Cloud Monster still, just because it's got that slightly firmer, more propulsive feel when you're trying to up the pace. Though neither of those shoes are really best for that. I'd say they fit nicely in a rotation alongside faster shoes, and the Cloud Surfer is the more enjoyable, easy run shoe. It is less stable though, that's something to consider with this shoe when you're looking between them. If you need a more stable ride, prefer that slightly firmer feeling underfoot, you're going to get that with the Cloud Monster. And yeah, durability will be a concern a little bit with the Cloud Surfer, 
all in all, a couple of decent shoes here from on. The Cloud Monster was a nice step in a different direction for them, but I think the Cloud Surfer really drove home the point, removed the speedboard, created that really soft, fun, effortless ride for easy runs, and it's my preferred pick of these two. So a quick verdict on these shoes then. I loved the On Cloud Monster when it first came out. I really thought that was a kind of step on from on in terms of its running shoes. One of the best on shoes that I'd run in. But I think personally, the On Cloud Surfer 7 supersedes it. Still love running in both of these. I think they're both pretty good, versatile shoes. But I think overall, the Cloud Surfer 7 just has a broader range. I think it does everything that the On Cloud Monster does and more. It's just one of those shoes that when you look down at a pile of shoes that you've got, you're immediately drawn to it. It's a happy shoe to go and run in. I love putting it on. And I think it just does a little bit more in terms of that kind of flex between the kind of the slower up to the faster paces and you get from the On Cloud Monster. Although some people may like the kind of slightly firmer ride of the On Cloud Monster. I do think that overall, for that range of cushioning and comfort and kind of pop and and sort of energy and just fun the on cloud surface 7 for me is the best kind of all-round shoe and therefore at the same price here in the uk i think it offers the kind of best value for money as well so for me difficult choice both good shoes but i think the winner is the on cloud surface 7 okay so my verdict on these two shoes is that i think the cloud surface 7 is by far the superior shoe i think it's the best shoe on has ever made um great work on on this um i've been waiting for a development like this from on for a long time it's a fantastically comfortable enjoyable shoe well worth picking up if you're a sort of runner that just wants one pair of shoes that just wants comfort but also wants a little bit of versatility uh it's just an enjoyable shoe to run in um and when you've got a big pile of shoes and you 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 reach for this one and i don't often do that with on shoes that's a major major uh, kudos to, to to the development of the shoe because i think it's it's a really nice shoe to wear uh, and if as long as there isn't aren't any major durability issues with the shoe i think it's a great step forward for on um and i'm looking forward to seeing more shoes using the same technology over time the on cloud monster i still think is a solid shoe uh, i've never had any issues with this shoe uh, i just not massively blown away by it either i'm happy to run in it have to do daily training miles um easy runs in it but I have shoes that I prefer to use that for, like the New Balance Mall V4, um, Socony Triumph 20, all of those sorts of shoes that um, are really nicely designed for those long, easy runs. I just think the On Cloud Monster um, is just a bit too firm for me. It just it feels a bit clunky, um, and I just don't get that soft cushion feeling that I like in my shoes, which I get from the On Cloud Surface 7. So there you have it, that has been our multi-tester verdict on the OnCloud Monster versus the OnCloud Surfer 7. We hope that's been useful in helping you make up your mind which shoe. As ever, don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that bell to hear about new videos and head-to-heads that we've got coming from the channel soon. If you're interested in finding the best daily trainers, we've got a video appearing on the channel that you'll be able to look at just about now. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure to talk to you and we hope to see you again soon on the Run Testers. Happy running, everyone.